right, so back to this. Holy shit, I mean, just... I mean, you can tell by the title, right? First things first, I'm actually sick as fuck recording this, if it wasn't obvious, but still need to make this video, right? Because I just finished the fucking movie, and it's like, holy shit, I mean, again, right? Just, and I already know what I'm gonna, again, title this, right? Uh, Violet Evergarden movie, the perfect finale, right? Uh, again, very very glad that before I decided to watch uh, Ghost in the Shell, right, that I actually found out about it and decided to watch the extra content for um, Violet Evergarden, right, the extra episode we got, and then the two movies we got, the Eternity one, which I made the video on, and then now the actual movie, the one I'm making this one on, and just holy fucking shit, I mean... God damn, like, this fucking show is, like, honestly, I'm not sure I'll ever be able to find another fucking show that tops this. Like, I'm uh, being entirely honest, just putting this out there now, I don't think it's possible. I mean, I, I will probably be searching my whole life to try to find it, and I don't think I'll be able to, because just fucking holy shit, I mean, right? Like, <laughs> Jesus. I mean, just the, the show is, like, like, how the Eternity movie was better than the show, right? Which was already fucking beautiful and phenomenal. This movie, right? The actual movie is better than the Eternity one, right? And then it's like, again, just holy shit. It's like, I literally legitimately don't think I, I there's anything out there that can really top this, right? Just being entirely honest and entirely upfront and transparent with that. So, just getting that out of the way, kind of my feelings there, right, and that shows, again, showing, you know, just how much and how good this is, like, I legit, just being, on, like, like, being honest, I don't think I'll be able to find anything better, I, I honestly don't, I'll go my whole life without it, and it's just, you know, peaked now, the show peaked now, right, I found the peak show now, when 22, you know, all just downhill from here, nothing else is gonna come up to it, but with that, right, again, I mean, just, Again, let's just get into it, right? I'm only making one video on this because I only need just one video to talk about how good it is, right? So, again, at least in terms of that, uh... Actually, I may make two videos, but this one, again, is going to be more so about, uh... <clears throat> this video will probably be about, again, this movie... I'll, I'll make two videos. This video is going to be about the movie, Right? and again just how it's fucking a perfect finale and my thoughts and opinions on it i'll make a second video kind of tying in all three together you know the show the eternity and then the, this movie right so i will make the two videos this one's going to be focused on the movie the next one will be focused on kind of how they all tie in with each other but at least in terms of that we can just get into it here and get into this movie here that way i'm not trying to cram everything in here just talking about the movie here so Jesus, yeah, I'm sick, right? But first things first, massive fucking spoilers. Um, if you, uh, what would you call it, right? Haven't watched anything else yet. But the major being alive, right? Because again, honestly, since they didn't bring him back in the actual show, I, I was pretty much convinced that he was dead, right? I'm, I'm like, they're not going to bring him back, you know? I, I was like, yeah, he ain't coming back, right? That's just... Like, it just ain't gonna happen, right? I was like, yeah, after we kind of saw... Because the show, that was kind of one of the questions, is like, okay, you know, are they gonna bring the Major back? Do you survive, right? And then, uh, since they didn't, I was like, ah, no, nah, they didn't bring him back. They didn't... He isn't gonna survive here. And then we got to the point in the movie, right, about halfway through, where we see the letter, and then they identify as the Major's handwriting, and I'm like, oh, no, they're... They're, they're not going down this route, are they? They're not going to bring him back, are they? And then that's exactly what we fucking did. When I first saw the Major, right, you know, fucking on the island with his blue hair, right, wearing his fucking eye patch and, like, uh, like, burr, like fucking cap there, right, I was like, oh, my God, he's fucking alive. He survived. And I was just, uh, it was like, oh, my God. And I will say, though, I was worried about, about them bringing him back, I, I wasn't really sure how I felt, because I'm pretty sure 
when I made the original like Violet Evergarden videos, I said, uh, or what would you call it? Um, again, with the whole decision not to bring him back well, after I'd finished the season, I, I said again, I think that was a good decision as my main worry about bringing him back would be that it would kind of invalidate the progress that Violet had made like kind of in his absence. But with how they ended up doing the major here, you know, I, I think, again, you know, I think they did really well here. My worry was more so that they would bring him back. He would just, like, fucking show up out of the blue and be like, oh, yeah, I survived. You know, I did all this shit, right? But with how, again, kind of they showed him living his, like, double life, you know, living his uh, peaceful life, right, again, on the island, you know. In spite of, again, you know, what he's done, at least how he views it is, again, making up for sins, I guess, in a sense, uh, again, right? And then there, right? And then, again, his initial reaction to seeing, what would you call it, uh, Hodgins, right? The Lieutenant Colonel, uh, being that, like, negative of him again. The And even Hodgins, he was kind of, again, you know, a bit, uh, what would you call it? Uh, he was a bit apprehensive right because he kind of knew like okay if he was alive this whole time but didn't come back there was probably a reason and again him kind of confirming that through again the major and him kind of saying that you know i left my old life behind right you know and he even brought up his like last or because he the hodgins brought up about how violet was there and then he brought up his like last command of violet he's like i like my last command was what you know live live and be free right and that's something to where it's like, again, at least in terms of that, he's like, that means a life without me, right? Again, him viewing that as him blaming himself for bringing her into war, right? You know, and then also, again, for kind of everything that happened involving the war. And that's, again, why he's living that peaceful life, that kind of escape, but also to, again, you know, kind of reprimand for his sins there, right? Again, through helping out the townspeople or whatnot, right? That's even what the old man says. The old man was like, you know, you don't need to bear this burden on your own right you know when everyone went off to war you know we, we thought that winning the war right would bring some sort of like satisfaction when in the end because obviously there it was part of the Garderic empire they lost but he said like again you know for a time we hated the lions uh, like people or whatever but we realized you know they, they were hurting too they're suffering too right so it's, i think it's kind of clear and obvious that the old man knew who the major was but yeah it's something there where I like the, since they did bring him back, right, I like the direction they took with him. Again, my main worry is that he would just kind of pop up out of nowhere and be like, oh yeah, I'm back. But again, I like the direction they took. And then especially when he finally gets to meet with Violet and talk with Violet, right? Because we knew Violet just fucking, after Hodgins tried to tell her that, you know, he didn't want to speak or see her. She, she just fucking ignored him and went through, right? And then when she did get that time to speak, again, you know, she was like apologizing, like wondering why he didn't want to see her and then again he just said like you know like again, he, was, he was basically just like get away right you know it's like you know i don't i don't want to see you you know again it's like you lived a life without me for however long you like get away you like I, I don't want you here basically and then she runs away right and then again and then hodgins like says says like fucking gilbert you idiot so and then again, they go back to the lighthouse. Then we get the whole sort of conclusion of the arc with uh, Yoris, right? Again, that that was in him, again, uh, uh, hiring Violet. And then again, sort of the delivery and payoff there, again, regarding him actually finally passing and then getting the letters to his, uh, you know, parents and then uh, younger brother, right? And then the other doll, like, sort of fulfilling that. But then also getting to speak to his friend Lucas there, right? So we get the conclusion of that arc. And then again, that's something to where... I will say I was also worried. I was worried that the colonel wasn't going to be able to speak, or captain wasn't going to be able to speak to his brother. Again, that I'd say I was worried about that because obviously he wasn't on the boat when they originally left. And I'm like, oh, don't tell me they're not going to have him speak to his brother. But then, of course, he kind of shows up and he's like, you know, so he, he kind of shows up and he's like, he, he pretty much insults him, right? He's like, is this way you've been doing this whole time, huh? To try and put your, like, mind at peace, like, at ease there, like, almost insulting him and basically being, like, you know, him saying, like, I was gonna, you know, apologize to you when I found you, right? But now, like, I just want to fucking bring you back so you can, you know, make up for what you did. And then again, right? They kind of get an argument about him having accepted Violet to begin with, the uh, Major, right? When the Colonel just wanted to use him as a weapon. And then again, he reads... 
the major again reads Violet's letter and then realizes again kind of like how he had it wrong and it's something to where again you know Violet did actually he's realizing how much he meant to Violet now right and then that how much she means to him right kind of again why he originally took her in to begin with again because the colonel with like the captain funny enough I'd say the cap besides like Violet obviously is the main protagonist the captains had some of the most character development throughout the whole show right again we kind of see him there like again originally and him taking him by is like oh this is just a weapon a tool right nothing more we see him throughout the original show and then we kind of see him after the war as this kind of like almost like obviously not in the state that major gilbert's in but we see him as kind of again he he's kind of like just like how violet hasn't really been able to move on he hasn't really either and again he kind of I think in a sense regrets a lot of what he did there, right? During the war. But something to where again, he again was kind of the one who was able to talk. Uh, Hodgins wasn't able to, not even Violet, uh, again, at least initially. And then he was kind of able to talk the Major out of it and make him realize that. And that's when you get the scene of the Major running, you know, down the cliff like towards uh, the ship, right? And he shouts Violet. And then Violet hears that. She fucking jumps off. Uh, swims towards shore and then they have their moment right and it's like oh man that that was just that was like the fucking payoff was worth it i mean just holy shit and again i will say and then along with that right the whole fucking uh besides obviously yours's arc you get the whole present day arc i mean it starts off it started off and they they what's it called you know it started off in the future i guess like present what would be considered like nowadays like modern day present uh, and again, you know, we hear about the great uh, grandmother who wrote letters to the grandmother, right? For every day or every for every uh, her every birthday, right after she passed when uh, the grandma was young. And it's like, holy shit, this is the fucking client that Violet, you know, what's it called, had, right? And then you, then you kind of realize, like, then you see it's the same house too, right? And then it's like, holy shit, you know, this is like however many generations after, right? And then you get the whole sort of arc of her learning and finding out about uh find out and then learning about kind of violet there with the whole stamp kind of going through you know the from a modern day perspective it's like oh because like it'd be the equivalent of present day like looking back at world war one as we know that's roughly a time period's in but then again something to where like you get that whole thing uh and then her kind of again going through the past right we see her at the museum with the one uh receptionist who is still there right and kind of showing her around uh, who again we see in the past right who's again just young in the past right obviously at that time but like again kind of old like probably like like old like grandmother um again in the present and then obviously we see her end up going actually going to uh, well we see the Eiffel Tower finish that was funny as fuck right but then we see her actually go to the island and kind of talk with the male uh person there right and go over kind of that's when it kind of wraps up as the finale right as it kind of again bridges uh, the gap between the past at least from when violet jumped off right and again saw or like quit her job as a doll right and then again stayed with the major on the island and then again uh bridge that and what she did on the island to the present day and we see that with the stamp right and then again her talking to the male receptionist there and the stamp right again but it's just holy shit like i mean at least in terms of that it's just like i know i literally just kind of described everything that had happened but it's like holy shit i mean it's it's literally perfect like i let's go over my cons let's go over my cons right this is a good one right let's go over the this is gonna be fucking hilarious let's go over the like few sort of drawbacks my few like cons like few critiques about the show one critique again similar to the original show was that the again you know like how the bomb sequence was unrealistic fucking the major like running down a cliff and shouting violet at a ship that's like already sailed and set off to see like and then her fucking jumping out him like jumping off a cliff and mean that was unrealistic as fuck right <laughs> similar to the bomb sequence in the original show right so that's unreal that's a critique right another critique is that fucking gilbert this dude his he used fucking his name's gilbert right his alias was Gilbert, right? I mean, come on. It's, like, literally just a different way of pronouncing his name. Like, it's worse than fucking Obito and Toby from Naruto, right? Spoilers, right, I guess. 
but like, it's literally just his name pronounced differently. That that was kind of funny as fuck though, hearing him being called Gilbert. It's like, oh come on, man. Like you couldn't have come up. I, I was surprised the colonel didn't fucking flame his brother for that. He'd be like, your dumbass really used Gilbert as a fucking alias. Like, there's that. That's literally it. That's all I got. You know, it's fucking critiques, right? Um, and yeah, there were also a lot of small moments that I had liked and really appreciated. Uh, one of them being, again, I liked how, again, how Violet saw, you know, the colonel when the colonel was reaching into his pot or captain, I keep calling him fucking colonel, when the captain reached into his pocket to return Violet's ribbon, like, again, she kind of had a bit of PTSD and thought he was drawing a weapon and countered, like, there, right, in that sense, so, that was a little thing that I very much appreciated there, and then again, you know, uh, <laughs> showing kind of again you know how the wars affected both of them right is again it really seems like the captain's just kind of because he's still in but it doesn't seem like again he's really gone over it or doesn't even really do anything now that's over so and then violent in that sense obviously never really got over especially with the major and then now learning that he's alive right so again it's just something to where it's like holy shit, I mean, at least in terms, that was, that was one of my favorite parts, that was something that I really enjoyed there, and again, I will say, though, one of the, I, I can see one of the critiques being, oh, you know, yours, like, he was treating his fucking family like shit, right, you know, uh, like, he, he made these letters, right, but he was, like, treating his family like shit, you know, he had fucking Violet hide under the bed, he, like, cussed out, or he didn't even really cuss out, but more so, like, uh, what would you call it, um, he like again kind of called out his family there but it's also something to where like i think you need to understand like to to be fair though again right his kind of issue was that uh again to him it's almost like they aren't family because they just view him as kind of like this little again you know not even really as a son but more so as like a dying person right you know and obviously again it's it's like it's hard right and i talked about in the original when i was talking about uh Anne's story, as well as Aiden's story in the original show, again, you know, kind of priorities, like, at when you're on limited time, you know, borrow time, right, when you know, you know, you're going to pass soon, right, like, kind of, what do you prioritize there, and again, his kind of issue being that, it's like, oh, they don't treat me like they used to, you know, I'm not the son to them anymore, right, they, I'm just this sick, weak, frail, like, dying person, and it's like, and to no one, that's why he specifically didn't want Lucas to see him, because again, he was worried that he'd end up kind of like them, right, but then it was something to where obviously he got his last moments with them, and the letters were able to deliver and pay off, so, I'd say though, again, I kind of understand him there, it, it was similar to, um, Anne's story, actually, right, except she didn't end up dying, it was more so, again, her, and well, I guess she was originally, you know, sick, right, but kind of her and again, you know, um, doing something that again, she didn't really, I guess, want to, to be fair, she didn't have parents though, so it's a different thing, but I guess, it, again, it's similar to, or not Anne's, Amy's I meant, right, but it could also be related to Anne's as well, but again, right, it's just like, god damn, like, holy shit, I mean, this, it, it's literally, you know, perfect finale, right, because we, we get the cap off on pretty much Violet's story there, obviously we see the show you know from the very first scene where you see her in the hospital again to pretty much the end of the show there right then we get again kind of the eternity show there right or the eternity movie and then we get the actual movie which again caps again off her story there starting as again you know this weapon of war you know this weapon or tool that was found by the colonel him kind of taking again you know get taking her from what, what you say like the front and then bringing him to the major right and again the major kind of taking her in more so as like again you know daughter right that's that's what i was saying there again obviously they go through you know they have their history then obviously the moment where again you know he supposedly dies right it says like live and be free you know i love you like violet right again it's like a daughter to him there right so sure, her gain hearing those words, and then again, her ending up in the hospital, literally what we see immediately following, right? Then her again, you know, kind of going through uh, there, right? Finding, you know, the auto memory doll, like, uh, what would you call it? Like, place there, right? Getting to work for them. And then again, you know, her 
going through the journey that we saw her go through in the original show. And then again, obviously you have the Eternity movie. Again, that was nice, right? I, I, lo I loved Amy and Taylor's story there. Again, then we have, the, again, the actual movie, though, which is kind of more so focused on her. And again, her, again, kind of dealing with the post, her and the Colonel as well, or Captain as well, dealing with the post-war world. Then finding out the Major's alive. You know, going there to visit him again, the trials, tribulations, and then, uh, you know, what what's the term, right? Uh, sort of, again, everything involving that. Uh, and then also you have... Again, but that all, again, wraps itself up, right? And then, again, you know, we get the post from sort of the rest of her story from the present, right? Uh, like future, their future, again, our present, right? Again, where she basically, again, you know, after, again, right, you know, she had finished, right, you know, her work. Uh, she kind of lived out the rest of her life with the major, uh, again, on that island, working there for the island, right, as a, postal, uh, what would you call it, right, as a postal, uh, mail-like carrier there, right, manning the post office, so again, it's just something to where, like, again, we, we, we get the conclusion and, uh, again, kind of the, uh, culminating sort of, uh, like, end for her story there, and again, it's just done so beautifully, right, it's just so phenomenal, the show is like, I legitimately don't think I'm gonna find a better show. Like, honest to God, I, I think this is peaked. Like, literally, like, peaked. I don't think I'll be able to find anything better. I honestly don't. I, I, I really don't. It's like, I, I think, again, right? Uh, again, I, I just, I honestly don't. So, it's just something to where it's like, yeah. I mean, I am. I, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I think it's uh, it's all downhill from here. Right? I think it peaked with this show and it's like it's something to where you see fucking it, it's hard. Right. And it, it, the movie made me cry, too. I cried during the show. I cried during eternity and I cried during the movie. I'm not someone who usually does these things. I never cried in an anime before. I only cried during video games once like this again during the Hikikomori route of or Mori, right, I'm hearing Mari's theme again for the first time, so it's like, again, I, they, like, I consider myself, like, fairly resilient there, but all, literally all three, the show, Eternity, and then the movie, all of them made me cry, because it's really something to where, like, Violet, like, just got, get absolutely fucking shafted, like, in, by life, like, I mean, it's like, like, a, probably, like, quite possibly, like, out of everyone we've met, I honestly don't think anyone had, like, a worse life than Violet. Like, I honestly think, like, she, she easily had it the worst out of, like, pretty much any character we've seen. Even, like, the ones who've, like, died early. So, like, Aiden, right? Like, he got shot, died in the fucking, uh, part of there, right? He at least had a pretty good, like, life before he got shipped off, right? As opposed to Violet, who never had that. Uh, again, right? Who else? Even Yoris, right? Again, same, same deal, right? You know, and he got his, like, peaceful, like, last moments, right? And he had, he had a good life before he ended up getting sick. Again, you know, even fucking, like, let's say Amy and Taylor, right? She took in Taylor, right? And then they had a shitty life up until, again, you know, but they were able to eventually, you know, they get adopted, taken in by, you know, either Taylor and Orphanage, uh, Amy, again, you know, that family. And then, again, they had a, what would you call it, right? They had a again, right, they got, were taken care of there, and they eventually reconnected, um, and even, like, Anne's story, right, Anne's story is, like, again, what would you call it, like, uh, like, she at least had her mother, right, and again, was living a fairly, like, normal life, just her mother had passed, and she got the letters, which, again, kind of, I don't want to say made up for that, that'd be very, uh, ignorant, but again, you know, it's kind of something that, uh, she, she then realized and recognized what she was doing after that fact, right, so again, it's just, like, though it's like again just like again just holy shit i mean yeah i can't really think of a. I honestly can't think like even the major and the colonel right we because we kind of get their backstory in the movie as well again how they're kind of just on this destined you know like faded path to pick up in their from their father's footsteps right you know to uh again right fill in his shoes there and then you we saw the colonel about to or fucking captain about to get his ass beat by his father right and then again, they, they kind of, again, obviously him needing to deal with the major, right? You know, his supposed death and then their mother, like, ain't Alzheimer's dementia, right? And then she even haven't accepted that the major is gone, right? 
and then him again that which again kind of fuels his like again him saying like oh violet attended her funeral violet could so stop by her grave every month and while you were here right so again and again and then the major obviously himself kind of going through him always kind of being even though he was the favorite right he was always kind of you know second fiddle to his older brother there and then again him being a bit more like i'd say him him having less control over his kind of emotions there right or his uh his uh, mental like state there right so but again it's like violence just it, it, she's really just someone who gets absolutely fucking shafted like by life like literally like the worst life possible like imaginable like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of a fictional character that possibly could possibly have like a worse life than her like it, it's hard <laughs> like it, it really is because again at least you know once she became a doll in once she kind of adapted into the la- lifestyle you know she had her friends there right but again, even then, it's like you, she can never really move on it, especially with the Major's resurface, reemergence, right? But something where, like, to finally see her fucking have her moment with the Major, just, like, as they're standing in the water, like, fucking seeing each other face-to-face for the first time, right? Even though she'd already heard his voice, and him telling her to just go away, get out, and never come back. Again, it's just seeing her there, right? And just crying, like, the Major crying, right? seeing them just kind of have their moment there and then learn that they basically lived the rest of their lives out right and then again with the whole postal service right you know her working on the island right there uh, after she was done with her work as dolls just it, it's so fucking good it, it's like you just you want to see her have a fucking good life and she get, just constantly gets fucking shafted again until the very end where she actually gets her moment. It's, it's so fucking beautiful like it's it's just I, I I really don't know what else to say. It's it's, it's this video has been going on too long. It's been twenty some minutes, near thirty, but it's just like I mean, it's like holy shit. I mean, just her story is so fucking good, so fucking beautiful, such a phenomenal show. And it's like again, just I honestly don't to, to wrap it up. I honestly don't think I'll be able to find a better show. It's gonna be disappointing, but I just don't think I'll be able to. The thing is just too good. And again, you know, that's why I'm titling this the perfect finale, right? Because there's no need to make anything else. They they finished, right? You got the show. You got the extra episode. You got Tourney. And now you have the movie, which finishes, concludes her life. There, There's nothing else to make. But it, again, it is a perfect finale because it, it wraps everything up so perfectly there. And it does it so beautifully as well. But that, I think I'm going to end it. Honestly, I might not even make bother making the second video connecting the three shows because it's like I, I think that's missing the point of just like because again, obviously after I finished the show, I made kind of the theory and speculation like, oh, who's the last client who really is violent? But again, right after watching these two movies, it's like it really doesn't fucking matter. It really doesn't. It's missing the point of just, you know, this fucking show and just how beautiful it is right and just how again how phenomenal it is with that i think then i end it here i don't really have anything else to say so yep that's it for this one see you in the next one